is your morning routine sabotaging your success? Legendary Samurai Miyamoto Musashi reveals seven bad habits that drain your energy and focus. These seven morning mistakes are killing your productivity. Fix your routine for a samurai-like start to your day. Habit number one, checking your phone. When we check our phones as soon as we wake up, we're essentially allowing the external world to dictate the tone of our day. We're reacting to notifications, messages and updates rather than setting our own intentions and focusing on our priorities. This reactive state of mind can lead to feelings of stress, anxiety and overwhelm, which are not conducive to a productive and fulfilling day. Miyamoto Musashi, in his wisdom, emphasized the importance of maintaining control over one's mind. He said, do not let the body be dragged by the mind. In the context of our modern-day habit of checking our phones, this teaching suggests that we should not let our attention be hijacked by the digital world before we've even had a chance to fully awaken and prepare for the day. So, how can we break this habit and reclaim control over our mornings? One effective way to resist the temptation of checking your phone first thing in the morning is to keep it out of reach. This could mean leaving it in another room or placing it on the other side of the room far enough that you have to get out of bed to reach it. This simple act can create a barrier between you and your phone, giving you a chance to fully wake up and start your day on your own terms. Instead of checking your phone as soon as you wake up, set a designated time for it later in the morning. This could be after you've completed your morning routine, had breakfast, or done some exercise. By delaying your phone check, you're prioritizing your own needs and setting a proactive tone for the day. If you're using your phone as an alarm clock, consider switching to a traditional alarm clock. This way, you won't have a reason to reach for your phone first thing in the morning. Take a moment to reflect on your priorities and intentions for the day. What do you want to achieve? How do you want to feel? By focusing on your own goals and aspirations, you can set a positive and proactive tone for the day. By breaking this habit and reclaiming control over your mornings, you can set yourself up for a more productive, fulfilling and positive day. Habit number two, skipping breakfast. Breakfast is breaking the fast that your body has been in since the last meal of the previous day. It is the first meal of the day and plays a crucial role in replenishing your body's energy stores and preparing it for the day ahead. Skipping breakfast, therefore, is not just a minor oversight, but a habit that can have significant consequences on your health and overall well-being. Miyamoto Musashi emphasized the importance of nourishing the body. He believed that a healthy body was essential for a clear and focused mind. You must understand the value of a healthy body, he said. In this context, skipping breakfast can be seen as a disservice to your body, depriving it of the essential nutrients it needs to function optimally. When you wake up in the morning, your body has been in a state of fasting for several hours. Your glucose levels are low and your body needs an energy boost to kickstart your metabolism and get your brain functioning at its best. Skipping breakfast can lead to low energy levels, decreased concentration and increased feelings of hunger later in the day, which can result in overeating and unhealthy food choices. Breakfast is not just about providing energy, it is also an opportunity to consume essential nutrients that your body needs. A balanced breakfast that includes protein, fiber and healthy fats can provide you with a range of vitamins and minerals that are vital for your health. For instance, protein is essential for muscle repair and growth, while fiber aids in digestion and helps control blood sugar levels. Healthy fats, on the other hand, are crucial for brain function and cell growth. Eating a nutritious meal in the morning can improve your mood, reduce stress levels and enhance your cognitive functions. It can also help you feel more satisfied and less likely to crave unhealthy snacks later in the day. 
Musashi's teachings also emphasize the importance of discipline and routine. He believed that by following a consistent routine, one could cultivate self-discipline and improve their overall quality of life. Making time for breakfast every morning, therefore, is not just about nourishing your body, but also about cultivating a healthy habit that can contribute to your overall well-being. However, it's important to note that not all breakfasts are created equal. A balanced breakfast that includes a mix of protein, fiber, and healthy fats is ideal. This could be a bowl of oatmeal with fruits and nuts, a protein-rich smoothie, or a serving of whole grain toast with avocado and eggs. Avoid sugary cereals, pastries, and other processed foods that can cause a rapid spike in your blood sugar levels, leading to a crash later in the day. Skipping breakfast is a habit that can have significant consequences on your health and well-being. It can lead to low energy levels, decreased concentration, and unhealthy food choices. On the other hand, having a balanced breakfast every morning can provide you with the energy and nutrients you need to start your day right. It can also contribute to your mental health, improve your mood, and enhance your cognitive functions. So. Take a cue from Musashi's teachings, value your body, and make time for a nutritious breakfast every morning. Habit number three, not making your bed. Making your bed might seem like a trivial task, but it's a small act that can set a positive tone for the rest of your day. It's about starting your day with a task completed, a small victory that can inspire you to seek more accomplishments throughout the day. Musashi once said, you must practice diligently day by day from the beginning to the end. This quote underscores the importance of consistent effort and the value of daily routines. Making your bed every morning is a simple yet powerful way to embody this teaching. It's a task that requires minimal effort but yields significant benefits. It's a small victory that can set the tone for the rest of your day, a tangible accomplishment that can inspire you to tackle bigger challenges. Making your bed is a form of self-care. It's a way of respecting your living space and creating a clean, comfortable environment for yourself. As Musashi said, you must understand the value of a healthy body. This principle extends beyond physical health to encompass mental and emotional well-being. A tidy, well-maintained living space can contribute to a sense of calm and order, reducing stress and promoting relaxation. Making your bed is a practice in mindfulness. It's an opportunity to focus on the present moment, to engage fully in the task at hand, and to appreciate the simple pleasures of daily life. Musashi emphasized the importance of mindfulness in his teachings. He said, you must not have a favorite weapon. In this context, the act of making your bed is not a favorite task, but a necessary one that deserves your full attention and effort. The act of making your bed also cultivates a sense of responsibility and self-discipline. It's a task that requires you to take care of your own needs to maintain your own space, and to hold yourself accountable for your actions. This sense of responsibility and self-discipline can extend to other areas of your life, helping you to become more proactive, more reliable, and more resilient. Musashi taught the importance of gratitude in his teachings. He said, you must think that you are inferior to others. This quote is not about self-deprecation, but about humility and gratitude. It's about recognizing the value and contributions of others and about expressing appreciation for the opportunities and resources that you have. Making your bed is a way of preparing for the day ahead. It's a symbolic act of leaving behind the comfort and safety of sleep and of stepping into the challenges and opportunities of the day. Musashi believed in the power of preparation. He said, you must train day and night in order to make quick decisions. In this context, making your bed is a form of mental and emotional preparation. 
a way of setting your intentions and focusing your energy for the day ahead. Making your bed is a way of ending your day on a positive note. It's a task that you can complete before going to bed, a final act of self-care and discipline. It's a way of closing the day, of letting go of the stress and challenges, and of preparing for a good night's sleep. Musashi emphasized the importance of rest and recovery. He said, you must not be influenced by the opinions of others. In this context, making your bed is a way of listening to your own needs, of respecting your own rhythm, and of prioritizing your own well-being. So, start your day by making your bed and experience the benefits for yourself. Habit number four, not drinking enough water. Water is the essence of life, making up about 60% of our body weight. It's involved in many critical functions, including maintaining body temperature, removing waste and lubricating joints. Despite its importance, many of us overlook the simple habit of drinking enough water, especially in the morning. Musashi's philosophy, you must not have a favorite weapon, can be applied to our body's need for water. Just as a samurai would not favor one weapon over another, we should not neglect any of our body's needs. Water is not just one of the many nutrients our body needs, it's an essential one. The morning is a critical time to hydrate. After a long night's sleep, your body is dehydrated and in need of water. Drinking water in the morning can help kickstart your metabolism, aiding in digestion and weight loss. It also helps to flush out toxins, improving your complexion and overall health. But how much water should you drink in the morning? Health experts recommend drinking at least 16 ounces or two glasses of water upon waking up. This might seem like a lot, but it's a small step that can yield significant benefits. One of the benefits of drinking water in the morning is improved cognitive function. Our brains are strongly influenced by our hydration status. Mild dehydration can impair mood, memory and brain performance. By starting your day with a glass of water, you're not only quenching your thirst, but also setting your brain up for a day of optimal performance. Drinking water in the morning can also aid in digestion. Water helps to break down food so that your body can absorb the nutrients. It also softens stool, promoting regular bowel movements. If you're struggling with constipation or other digestive issues, drinking water in the morning might provide some relief. Drinking water can help with weight loss. Water increases feelings of fullness and boosts metabolic rate, helping you to eat less and burn more calories. In a study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, researchers found that drinking 17 ounces of water increased metabolic rate by 30% in healthy men and women, but the benefits of drinking water in the morning don't stop at physical health. Hydrating first thing in the morning can also improve your mood and energy levels. Dehydration can cause fatigue, confusion and anxiety. By ensuring you're well hydrated, you can start your day feeling refreshed and energized. So, how can you make drinking water in the morning a habit? Start by keeping a glass or bottle of water by your bedside. As soon as you wake up, drink it before you do anything else. If you find plain water boring, you can add a squeeze of lemon or a sprig of mint for flavor. You can also set reminders or use a habit tracking app to help you remember. So, drinking enough water in the morning is a simple yet powerful habit that can greatly impact your health and well-being. It's a practice that aligns with Musashi's teachings of taking care of one's body and mind. So, start your day with a glass of water. Your body will thank you. Habit number five, neglecting physical activity. Neglecting physical activity, especially in the morning, is a bad habit that can have serious consequences for our health and well-being. Regular physical activity is a cornerstone of good health. 
It helps to control weight, combat health conditions and diseases, improve mental health and mood, and boost energy. Yet many of us fail to make time for physical activity in the morning, often citing lack of time or fatigue as reasons. Musashi's teachings offer a powerful antidote to this habit. He believed that physical training should be a daily practice, saying, you must train day and night in order to make quick decisions. While Musashi was referring to the rigorous training of a samurai, his teaching can be applied to our modern lives. Regular physical activity can help us to make quick decisions by improving our cognitive functions, enhancing our focus, and boosting our energy levels. A brisk walk in the morning can be a great way to kickstart your day. It's a low-impact exercise that can be easily incorporated into your morning routine. Plus, it gives you an opportunity to connect with nature and enjoy the peace and quiet of the early morning. Yoga is a holistic practice that combines physical postures, breathing exercises, and meditation. It can help to improve flexibility, strength, and balance, while also reducing stress and anxiety. Plus, it's a great way to cultivate mindfulness and set a positive intention for the day. Bodyweight exercises, such as push-ups, squats, and lunges, can be done anywhere without any equipment. They are a great way to build strength and endurance. Plus, they can be easily adapted to suit your fitness level. Even a simple stretching routine can have significant benefits. Stretching can help to improve flexibility, reduce muscle tension, and prevent injuries. Plus, it's a great way to wake up your body and prepare it for the day ahead. Remember, the goal is not to become a world-class athlete, but to make physical activity a regular part of your morning routine. As Musashi said, you must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. The key is to find a form of physical activity that you enjoy and can stick to. By incorporating physical activity into our morning routine, we can set ourselves up for a more productive, fulfilling and positive day. As Musashi taught, physical fitness is not just about strength and endurance, but about cultivating a disciplined mind and a resilient spirit. So let's make a commitment to embrace physical activity as a daily practice and take a step towards a healthier, happier and more fulfilling life. Habit number six, not having a morning routine. A morning routine is more than just a series of tasks. It's a ritual that prepares us for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. It's a personal time that allows us to connect with ourselves, to reflect on our goals and aspirations, and to mentally and physically prepare for the day. Without a morning routine, we may find ourselves rushing through the morning reacting to whatever comes our way, rather than proactively setting our own course. This can lead to stress, disorganization, and a lack of focus and productivity. Musashi believed in the power of intention. He said, you must think and act like a warrior. A warrior is always ready to act, but never in a hurry. Before you start your day, take a few moments to set a clear intention. This could be a specific goal you want to achieve, a task you want to complete, or a quality you want to cultivate. Having a clear intention can provide a sense of direction and purpose for your day. Musashi valued physical and mental health. He said, you must understand the value of a healthy body. Incorporate activities into your morning routine that promote your health. This could include exercises like yoga or jogging, meditation for mental clarity, or a nutritious breakfast to fuel your body. Musashi was a lifelong learner. He said, you must think that you are inferior to others. This doesn't mean putting yourself down, but rather maintaining a humble and open mindset, always ready to learn and improve. Dedicate some time in your morning routine for learning. This could be reading a book, listening to a podcast, or even learning a new skill. Musashi was a strategist. 
He said, you must think about your strategy thoroughly. Use your morning routine to plan and prioritize your tasks for the day. This can help you focus on what's important and avoid getting overwhelmed by less significant tasks. Musashi believed in the power of reflection. He said, you must reflect on your training and your life. Take some time in your morning routine to reflect on your progress, your challenges and your achievements. This can help you stay motivated, learn from your experiences and make necessary adjustments to your goals and strategies. Musashi believed in the joy of practice. He said, you must enjoy your training. Your morning routine should be something you look forward to, not a chore you dread. Incorporate activities that you enjoy, whether it's listening to music, gardening or cooking a hearty breakfast. Having a morning routine is not about filling your morning with as many tasks as possible. It's about creating a structure that supports your physical, mental and emotional well-being and helps you live a more intentional, productive and fulfilling life. As Musashi said, you must do everything calmly and deliberately, from polishing your sword to taking a tea. So take the time to create a morning routine that works for you. And remember, every morning is a new opportunity to improve and grow. Habit number seven, negative self-talk. The way you speak to yourself can greatly impact your mood and mindset. Starting your day with negative self-talk can lead to a negative outlook for the rest of the day. Negative self-talk is a habit that can significantly impact our mental and emotional well-being. It's that little voice in our head that criticizes doubts and second-guesses us. It's the voice that tells us we're not good enough, smart enough or capable enough. This habit can be particularly damaging in the morning as it can set a negative tone for the rest of the day. Musashi's teachings offer a unique perspective on dealing with negative self-talk. He believed in the power of self-reflection and continuous improvement. He said, You must think that you are inferior to others. This might sound like a recipe for low self-esteem, but it's quite the opposite. Musashi believed that by considering ourselves inferior, we open our minds to learning and growth. We become humble, willing to learn from others and committed to improving ourselves. However, it's crucial to distinguish between Musashi's philosophy and negative self-talk. Musashi's teachings encourage humility and continuous improvement, not self-deprecation or self-doubt. Negative self-talk, on the other hand, is a destructive habit that can undermine our confidence and hinder our progress. So, how can we overcome negative self-talk and start our mornings on a positive note? Musashi believed in the power of self-reflection. He said, Reflect on your present situation and think about what you can do to improve it. Take a few minutes each morning to reflect on your strengths, weaknesses and areas for improvement. Be honest with yourself, but also be kind. Remember, the goal is to improve, not to criticize or punish yourself. Musashi was a firm believer in the power of continuous learning and growth. He said, You must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. Embrace a growth mindset by seeing challenges as opportunities for growth rather than threats to your ego. Remember, everyone has room for improvement and that's okay. Musashi taught the importance of a positive mindset. He said, you must think positively and believe in yourself. Start your day by replacing negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Tell yourself that you are capable, strong and worthy. Remind yourself of your achievements and the progress you've made. Musashi was inspired by the beauty and wisdom of nature. He said, observe the wonders as they occur around you. Don't claim them. Feel the artistry moving through and be silent. Find what inspires you. It could be nature, art, music, literature or the achievements of others. Use this inspiration to fuel your motivation and drive. Musashi was a goal-oriented person. He said, 
You must set goals that are slightly beyond your reach so that you always have something to strive for. Setting clear goals can give direction and purpose to your day. It can also help you focus on what's important rather than getting lost in negative thoughts. However, by applying the teachings of Miyamoto Musashi, we can overcome this habit and start our mornings on a positive note. Remember, every morning is a new opportunity to learn, grow and improve. As Musashi said, today is victory over yourself of yesterday, tomorrow is your victory over lesser men. So, let's make the most of our mornings and strive for continuous improvement and growth. Overall, your morning habits can greatly impact the rest of your day. By avoiding these seven bad habits and incorporating the teachings of Miyamoto Musashi, you can set yourself up for a productive and positive day. Remember, it's about making small changes that can lead to big improvements. So, start your day right. And as Musashi would say, step by step walk the thousand mile road.